welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. Uh, I haven't been on for a while to make a video because I've been pulling 12, 13 hour days at work. For some reason my route's been real heavy this week, which really sucks. But other than that, today we have a new trailer mod I like to show off because I found this on the uh, mods ATS and I have a link in the description below. And we're back in the John Ruda glider truck, Peterbilt beautiful truck and I can say I'm addicted to this truck so I'll probably be making a few videos with this truck and hopefully here soon I'll have some uh, his trailers that he makes himself so other than that let's get into it we are taking oh, wrong button. wood shavings down to the Dallas craft Hines today I'm a little tired, so my brain's not working too well right now. And uh, I'll provide a link in the description of the where you can get the John Ruder truck and this is running. I'm also running the Z mods uh, sound. What is it? The air brake sound and everything on this truck. Uh, also a note. The wheels, uh, it comes with its own wheels, the trailer does, it's got its own little customizations you can do to it, uh, but also the John Ruda wheels actually will work on this trailer, so if you like his wheels better than the one that comes with it, then you can actually put those on it if you have the John Ruda truck. Let's start her up and get rolling. set right we'll go on the outside for a little bit and then we'll go back on the end It's actually a really nice trailer. Uh, it's not really bad, it's actually free. Uh, but I have noticed a couple of things on it that ain't working right or something. It has to do with the, uh, the lighting on it. It comes with like, you can either have the standard lighting or the LED. It comes with LED tail lights. For some reason the LEDs, I don't know if it's just because it's so bright out, but they, like where you see the brake lights and everything on this truck and the turn signals, the LEDs for some reason aren't working. I don't understand that. Uh, don't know if that's just maybe because it's too bright out for the LEDs to be working or something or if it's just a bug in the trailer, but hopefully the person who made this will have it fixed. Yeah, I also have the uh, LED lights on the side, but lights here, yeah, they don't seem to be working. They don't look like they're working, but who knows, if they may show up at the night time, so we'll just try them out at night now see if that's the issue but it should also be looking bright but even near the day to have that natural effect so I'm not sure if it's just a bug on the trailer or, or what or if it's just not working for me but it's a beautiful trailer overall you can change the color of the tarp on top to a different color uh, the color of your choice customize it or it has some presetted colors. It's actually a nice little truck though, a little trailer, I mean trailer, I mean, looks pretty good with this Peter Mill. Let's go on the 
interior view here because this is a beautiful interior. Beautiful sounds from this truck with the engine mod uh, sounds. Kind of lagged up there for a sec. It's kind of weird, it? it lags up every so often with the certain areas I go into. I don't know if it's because of the Got the best graphics card. Like I said, in a lot of other videos could be the reason it's just catching up with itself. But overall, I mean, it does a decent job. But I hope everybody's having a good Thursday, even though it's kind of well, where I'm at. It's kind of crappy weather right now. It's raining and everything, and I had to work today. Luckily, the rain held off until I was uh, pretty much about done. It didn't really start raining until I got on my last run or last stop of the day which I uh, was really blessed with that because it sucks to work in the rain I know y'all who uh, work out in the rain knows what it feels like how much it sucks that it uh, didn't rain until after work but geez louise driving on the interstate was like uh, so it's almost like you could barely see like maybe a hundred foot in front of you it was so much rain so it was like having to drive slow keep pausing for a minute I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing make me pull over for this so the outside view here so we can see what we're doing I need to turn that down a little bit so I don't get them so often. Get them more often than none for some reason. weight and everything, but geez louise, 
been working there for five months and I went from my, I weighed about almost 260 pounds. And I'm down to like 212, I think it is, the last time I checked. It's been a couple, few weeks since I checked that. Lost a lot of weight working there. It's not like the hard, job's hard or anything, it's just they expect, like, really, honestly, even if you got a extra person with you, It's like a well, that's crap. To me, it's like a three-man job. But they actually about a four-man job, really. They don't take into consideration how long it takes to to uh, check in and everything, and then run it. And then when you got like ten to eleven outlets, and you're pulling like almost seven hundred cases truck or even 800 I had like 800 almost 900 cases uh, one day and it's all work and there's like no bulk to it there's no drop off or anything it's all work with my route and it'll just wear you down you're all right for the first maybe four to five but as you get down to the last few it's just like you're dead like a detour. Yeah, I think I'm going to find me a, back to what I was saying though, uh, I think I'm going to be finding me another job probably as soon as I get my experience in. Because I may work looking on the ND and everything where I live at, there's a lot of no touch rate home daily jobs that pay actually more than what I make now and it's like 100% no touch rate in your home daily I mean why would you pass that up but the thing is those they require like six months to a year experience worth experience. Even though I've had my CDS for a while, I just whenever I quit the other job, I didn't have much experience in that neither. Because when I first started truck driving, it was a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, flatbed. And really, flatbed has, it's, sure explain I just didn't like it we'll, we'll put it that I just didn't like the job and so I quit there and I had drove a truck since till now when I got my job back in September I have my job that I have now and it just it's not hard to drive a truck if you know what you're doing you know how to be careful and everything it's just killing me because of the fact that uh, how much work they put on one person even though you get a helper it's it's still it still takes a lot out of you even even the helper with you is, is worn out and they send in so much product and stuff and well the problem my, my problem is my route is my sales rep is not consistent with uh, the way he orders. It's like one week he's like don't send enough and then the next week I'm blowed out to make up the difference. And it's kind of it's, it's really aggravating me. 
And the only thing they can tell me is, uh, oh, well, that's just the way it is. I mean, we can't really do much about it. We just deliver the orders. Stupid. Stupid stuff. Stuff that shouldn't even happen. Supposedly here in September, we're supposed to be getting small merchandisers to run uh, cooler stuff for us. And hopefully that actually works out. Hopefully. That helps out me a whole lot, because all i got to do is just get it checked in and kicked off. But other than my problems, I hope everybody's doing pretty good. Ooh, almost forgot to stop. I think overall this trailer looks really nice for a free one. This one has actually done a real good job with them. There's actually quite a few that's got their own engine sounds, especially the sports cars. And I am also using the spring mod, so it looks more springy, because I am ready for spring. I am tired of this cold weather. I'm ready to get back into warm weather and be able to wear my shorts to work. Even though it's uh, warming up a little bit, man, they keep those gas station stuff real toasty. They don't plan on turning their AC on until it actually gets hot, hot. I don't know for a fact when it hits days that are 60 degrees, they ain't turning no AC on. Understand that, but I guess they don't want to spend the money on an electric bill. Makes me burn up and sweat. And there we are in the land of Oz, or to our destination anyway. But other than that, uh, if y'all like this video of the trailer and everything, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll bring some more content on modded uh, trailers and trucks and everything. Give them a little test run, see, see how well they look on your truck and everything. Or at least my truck, because this John Ruiner truck looks amazing. I do plan on getting his trailer mods here soon hopefully probably by next weekend uh hopefully by then but other than that i'll have a link in the description below about where you can get this trailer and the truck and all the mods that i'm actually running right now on this and i shall see you in the next one